Hi everybody, I'm Mary and Mike here with Savvy, and we're here to show off Mary and Mike and Savvy's video game collection, part two. Today, this the first thing we're going to go over is our NES shelf. It is the largest part of our collection with over 700 plus titles. Why is it the largest? Why is it the largest? Because I like the large ones. That's what she said. Um, <clears throat> I did. Everybody at home just heard me say it. Moving on. Uh, moving on. Uh, however, uh, even though there's only about 730 some odd titles within the original library, we actually have a lot of <laughs> we actually have a lot of extra things added to it. Uh, for instance, we have a lot of reproduction or PAL games or hack games. Uh, this first one, I'm just easily to talk about. This is Aladdin. Aladdin for the NES from uh, overseas. It's a PAL version. Um, one of the few PAL games that does not work on an NES top loader, which doesn't have a regional chip. Uh, the other thing that's notable within our collection, as like I said before, the, re the reproduction and hack games, uh, we have a series of Christmas games we were getting every year uh, for my wonderful wife here. And it comes with, uh, besides throwing Ninja darts. throwing darts. <laughs> stealth mode and not stealth mode. <laughs> You can also get customized messages within the game. So, for instance, this one uh, says Michael and Savvy, Christmas 2011. Uh, some of them, you know, you know, girls need a nice custom thing that'll last a long time. Go get, on get, get, and on, it keeps on giving. Best get, get, Christmas. Get your lady a video game with a customized message built in the top. And you know, we've got some other ones up here. Uh, for instance, this one set. I can't share that one. Sorry, uh, that, that one's uh, extra special. See, see, the ladies like it. Yep, that keeps on going. I, uh, unfortunately, this shelf has fallen to the same problem we've had with a lot of our shelves. It's just not big enough. It can't handle all the NES kit titles we have here. And as we go along and get to other parts of the collection, we'll actually let you see the rest of it. But today, this is what you get to see as far as the unboxed cartridges that we have here. Uh, so, talking about above the actual shelf, we've got a few things here that I wanted to go over. We're not going over the very top yet. Sorry, guys. You still got to wait on that one. Uh, there's a few things that are obvious, not normal video games. Doing a zoom How in. How is show. a superhero duck and a princess duck not video game? Because there's not a video game with the. They are superheroes. They're superheroes. You can find a superhero, and I can find you multiple princesses. Anyway, going on. This is, don't throw the Super Scope 6. Here's a Super Scope 6 original in box. Uh, some other various candies and sorts because we, every type of candy or any type of memorabilia we'll come across, we grab. Just don't eat it. Yeah, not a good idea. When you try to eat 20 plus year old bubble gum. Uh, this is pretty neat. This is a watch we picked up while we were on our way to see her sister. Very, very shiny, shiny. Unfortunately, the, the box is starting to tear a little bit. Just how it's old. old it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, going on, Tortatoro, whatever your name is, catch that. Uh, I got a gunslinger for the Wii. The only reason I got this box game was just because it had a very cool looking gun system in it. And this right here is our, some carrying cases, which one in particular I took with me to Yellowstone National Park with this nice little hook and walked everywhere with it. Climbing mountains. And here he comes with his thing attached to his hip. Going, but you made it. He went up a mountain and the DS was safe, so we're okay. With breathing problems and all. <laughs> you made it, baby. Yeah. I do want to point out that there are some of these that, considering this is my favorite, that I uh, love a whole lot. A particular one that means a whole lot to me is um, uh, Dr. Mario, family favorite. Only video game I can meet this, this man in almost every time. I'm pretty sure it's every time. <laughs> There's not an old you get, you get I appreciate you trying you to give lucky. me a bone because I'm so merciless to you with everything else I play. It's the one game you just murder me in over no and bones. over. No, no, yeah, no, no bones on that one. <laughs> There's a, a couple that have become uh, my particular favorite. Uh, we do have Bubble Wobble 2. It was a long time coming. We still do not have Zombie Nation. Last game on my list. Nobody carries it in this store. 
So that's missing from our shelf. It's a bit pricey if you don't know anything about <laughs> it. It's actually a, it's, it's a little bit hard it's to still, find. Still, it needs to be here. We had the first game, we need the last game. Um, I know that we're missing some. Uh, yeah, well, a lot of the big main titles are difficult for us to find. We don't have the Mighty Samson. We don't have, we just have them on our staff. None of the story. adult. None of the adult titles, titles for the NES. We don't have any of the NWC parts. There's um, a couple in here that I have had personal favorite with uh, playing. Where's Waldo? Anybody ever try playing that on here? You should try it. Just You should just try it and just see. My friends and I, <coughs> we got to... A little intoxicated at the time, <laughs> trying to play it. Uh, yeah, so when we were playing uh, Sesame Street 1 through 3, intoxicated. But you tell me which one's Waldo. What red picture is Waldo? There was a couple uh, <laughs> that were rather fun to play. Uh, what about, uh, I know that we have a whole bunch of the custom favorite. Zelda. Oh yes, uh, I think we have pretty much every Zelda that they have on the site. They have, what is it, um, Gamer Reproductions. Yeah, game, game, GameReproductions.com. Uh, that's just the original. It's the past it. Yeah. There's a couple right there. So this is uh, the, the Legend of Zelda Time Time Crisis Fall of the Moon. This is uh, the Legend of Zelda Shin Zelda what? I don't even know how to say that last word. But you get to play as Zelda in it, which is kind of cool instead of, instead of Link. So the game really is a Zelda game. Girl power. All right. Here's some of the other ones. Uh, I have two copies of Outlands, uh, just one with more of a, an original style cover and one with a modified cover. Uh, this is pretty difficult to play. Uh, I had a hard time working with this one. And the last one I have is um, The Legend of Zelda Ganon's Revenge. Now, of course, a lot, luckily, they all kind of have this old school feel to it, which makes it kind of nice. And just a, one more little boom happens to be that this wonderful man got me this one also from the site for my birthday. We just tried to play this. We haven't even beaten the first level. It took us, I mean, the jumps are insane. It's a very, very, very cute concept. Uh, your boos are like your turtles. I mean, they're literally just the re-sprites of turtles. Mm -hmm. uh, turtles are now boos. It was kind of Koopa weird Troopas. jumping on the boos. The jumps were insane. It was over and over and over again. And the really, <laughs> I thought, I thought it was hilarious. You know, some people when you do bad, they're like, you did bad and you're sad. And some people are like, you did bad. Just go, oh yeah, I'm gonna do better. This time when we're doing this, I thought it was. <laughs> <coughs> you suck. I was rolling because I was laughing at it because we were screaming at this game. I hate you game. You suck. And then it talked back to us and told us when you die and run out of lives that you suck. Literally on the screen it tells us you suck. At least it doesn't say you suck again after the second time through. You suck again. You suck. You suck again. Um, um, pretty much that's it really I have for this I mean the only other things is there's here's some hack copies of Final Fantasy 1 Final and Fantasy. 2 for the NES uh, which is kind of cool uh, the NES the Final Fantasy 3 one uh, is no longer on gamer reproductions I don't think you might have to go somewhere else for it but it's still really nice you have the wise wise one two three yeah it's which on aren't that. here they're on the other shelf because we ran out of room that is, seems to be a rather big problem we have we get it and obviously that these are set up very nicely if very you look packed. at the site currently which I might ch I'm going to change it soon if you get it before I change it all there are pictures where there's no games on this shelves they're just filled mm -hmm. with memorabilia and now we have this whole thing and several others right all right so we're gonna go on to another section of our shelves uh, first off epic Mickey area Mickey mouth very very epic and Mickey Epic Mickey Collector's Edition. Uh, we have a couple of uh, peripherals that hook into the Wii, Wii remotes. This is from the for the first Epic Mickey game, and this is for the second. They do have a version of the paintbrush like that it. actually lights up for the second one. We haven't quite what well, we yeah, we haven't got one yet, but the tip lights up. Anyway. This is uh, an almost, this is not actually Epic Mickey, but it's pretty epic for Mickey to be smashing a guitar, so I have no complaints there. Fierce case, fierce case. Very fierce, very daisy. Uh, this is a charge station. Uh, usually while you're charging your system, it'll glow red, and when it's done, it glows green for the eyes and the mouth. 
Unfortunately, I broke it, so I have to fix it. Uh, the power cable inside of it just came loose. I gotta take it apart and re reattach all that, maybe solder some things, but it'll work out just fine. Um, before With we your go. Hammer? Before we go to the games below here, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the shelf above, or the board above. She's throwing me off with the whole hammer thing. That's what's funny. Alrighty. Up here, That's I have even. magnets that are no longer for sale on RetroUSB.com, but they're very cool. Uh, you can make your own little levels and things of the sort. They also had a Zelda and a Donkey Kong version, which now I regret not getting quicker. Uh, there's also a few other things here. As you'll notice as we're going through the different videos, you will notice perler art on the walls, and that's something me and my wife enjoy doing quite a bit. Um, cute. These are also kind of neat. These are some uh, cross stitch, mm -hmm. uh, cross stitch ghosts from uh, Pac Man uh, uh, with little magnets on the back. Great thing to stick on the fridge. I think you found those at a flea market? Mm -hmm. My sister bought them. It's really cool. And the only other thing we talk about up here is this bit of text here. It says uh, 713. 2013, Mike loses to Alex on a butt pusher. So, I've always bragged about one of my best things that I have about me is being able to rapidly press a button better than anyone else I know. And Alex finally got me on one of these, so I decided it was worthy enough to put on the board. Um, it's been over a year, so it's time for a rematch, I'm pretty sure. And I think we're going to take that and see how that goes this time around. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> Talk about the other things we got. We'll go on down now and start talking about the shelves. We don't get a lot of box games, and we obviously don't go online very much to go get things. So this are the box games that we picked up in the wild. Uh, starting over here, we've got some N64 stuff. Our our gold. Some of the boxes are pretty good. Some are worn out. The ones that I think are taken out the most are worn out a lot, like Goldeneye 007. Uh, other than that. Uh, there's not really a lot to say about these. There's nothing that's really exceptional here. Boxes are not our first priority. I mean, if we, they have them in the box, we're happy, we're great. And eventually, when this gets full, that's something we'll have to look into. But for us, it's more about the game than, I would say, you know, the just accessories. The, the accessories to them. Right. Now, uh, but that being said, most of these boxes actually have manuals in them, so that's kind of nice. I don't have to worry about that one. That does become part of our collecting stuff. Um, and I have giant stacks of manuals. Uh, so when I do get a box that doesn't have a manual, whoop, hold on. Um, so NES games going on down. I've got uh, some things down here. Uh, these are my foreign titles, uh, which are. Um, I do just, not understand. I do not understand. I've got a few things here, uh, like. For instance, this is Paper Mario, the one on the bottom, and the one above it is Pokemon Stadium. Uh, obviously, the cases look quite a bit different. There's Japanese text and lettering. Um, I have Super Famicom, Famicom, and the N64 that was released in Japan. Uh, these aren't foreign. They're just on the edge of the shelf, but this is my Virtual Boy collection. I do not have all the Virtual Boy games, even though there are not many. I think there's only maybe 22 or so. And I know, I know that you could do this and hold the whole collection in your hand, if your hands are big enough. And you don't have tiny baby hands. Uh, so this is uh, Virtual Boy Wario Land, uh, Mario's Tennis, Mario Clash, Red Alarm, Galactic Pinball, and Nestor's Funky Bowling. There's one or two other rare titles, but the rest are actually fairly cheap. Um, going from there, uh, we got, again, this is still mostly our Nintendo section, but there are a few things that are not Nintendo. Uh, we have our 3DS and DS games, but over here, sneaking in, are some foreign titles. Uh, these are all Neo Geo CD games, and every one of these are fighters, so Jacob's rather happy, I'm sure. Uh, there's a couple of PlayStation 4 games as well. Uh, we have our... Original Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games down here scattered about. And of course, our Mario Party is not complete without Mario Party, the e-reader card game. Which we have, because it's complete, because uh, Mario Party are my favorite overall game to play. Yeah. And so there's, we have every single Mario Party, including the card game! Woohoo! Woo! Uh, other than that, you know, there's the Super Nintendo stuff over here. Uh, here's a printer. A printer. It has pretty much a full ream of paper in it, so if you wanted to take an old school selfie and print it out with your Game Boy, 
You could. I don't know why you'd want to. Maybe that's just... Maybe we should make our profile pictures just Game Boy printer things. I could do that. Yeah. Uh, I look good in selfies. I got a couple of, uh, of, of cartridge cleaners. Oh, not cartridge. These are system cleaners. Uh, they and have, it's pink. Yeah, because a woman's job is to clean things. You are going to get slapped for that. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. Uh, <laughs> and it's pink. Uh, but yeah, they, these actually aren't that bad for the most part. They actually do their job. I, I don't use chemicals inside of my NES, but the paper reams that are in here, if you rotate them and go through and clean the system, uh, it, it does a decent enough job. I don't have too much trouble with my 25 year old plus system, but it's just me. Puppies might be the gun. They're not. These are just something we find out Target, Walmart, wherever you're at. They're just uh, cards that go with the system, Mario Kart. We have opened a few, but mostly we just left them in the pack so we have them in part of our memorabilia. I think in some of the places we actually have like, there are tens which have like a whole bunch of them, but we don't even open those up. Mm -hmm. So I think we have one of every variation that was made as far as the card packs and the tens. Um, and uh, do you have anything else about these shelves? No. All right, so going on. All right, so we got another shelf to talk about here. Uh, this is our S this covers our SNES games in 64, GameCube, and Wii games. The Wii U games were covered on another shelf previous previously because this shelf was starting to run out of space. Um, so first off, we'll go ahead and talk about our SNES games here. Uh, there were only two SNES games runs for the Christmas games that were uh, reproductions, and here we go. They're both very similar on their covers. Uh, they're both fun games. Uh, another thing we didn't talk about before, we'll go ahead and cover now because it talks. It's it's universal with right. both of them. Uh, they have LED lights built into the boards. Oh, that's so cute! If you have, I'm sorry, I'm gonna yeah, go ahead. If you have your NES open, or if you do the top loader, especially, there are lights in it that uh, glow, and they have the different Christmas colors. And if you uh, like shiny, like I do, uh, it was. A neat visual to add to it and even though these games aren't really that complicated uh, they were definitely for you know late night Christmas Eve being together playing it you know having some eggnog is rather sweet and the very fact that they were custom and that this man came up with it himself points for this. Also uh, whenever you score uh, playing the game on Christmas Eve uh, the different lights will light up according to your colors of their player. So according to your score. <laughs> All right, Rudolph. Anyway, like I said, uh, so if you're the red player, the red, and you made a score, uh, you've got some points, or you succeeded in whatever your goal was for the game, you da -da -da -da. would have the red lights all light up at once and flash. So it's kind of neat that it does that. <laughs> anyway, going from there, um, we do have the, the Final Fantasy games for the SNES and so, uh, some of the other notable RPGs. Doom! Yes, we have Doom. It's the only red one over Doom. here. Doom! Doom! Doom. Alright, uh, another one to talk about here in our reproduction games for the SNES is Back to the Future 2. By far the best Back to the Future game they've ever created. Uh, it was never released in the U.S. This is a, a hacked ROM that's been translated and brought over here. It actually some, follows the storyline of the movie. The story. uh -huh. And actually has music for the movies where the other games really were lacking that. It feels like it had a bit more of a purpose than yeah. the other one. Um, I want to point out, because I thought this was really neat, Star Fox 2, which was actually not finished. finished. So this is not a complete game, but it was actually in uh, stages of de development. And it, we got it. Um, it's a pretty far outside. along ROM, though. Mm -hmm. You can actually play the game from beginning to end. It's just not very difficult and obviously right. needed some work before they finished the product because the final boss is just like a cube of Andros. It's just a placeholder. But it's still you can still beat it um, and finish it, which is kind of neat. And it's definitely really good. Uh, obviously, we got, we got some Zeldas for this system, too. More hack Zeldas. Uh, Yum yum. Uh, I'm happy. Uh, 
We got three here. We have uh, the Legend of Zelda Goddess of Wisdom. We have the Legend of Zelda Parallel World Worlds, which is quite difficult, actually. Uh, I think I had a little bit of a hard time with Goddess of Wisdom as well. And the last one is the Legend of Zelda BS Map 1. Now, the BS Map 1, the BS was, a, a, I think, the satellite system that they used to use where you could download weekly games and play it on the SNES. It's only in Japan. But basically, this is the entire first map of the original Zelda. And what I mean by first map, it's the first quest. If you've ever beaten Zelda or put in the, the code to go to the second quest, this doesn't have it. It just has just the original game content, which is graphically better and due to the nature of it, actually has bonuses the longer you play. You manage to get certain things and power-ups as you're playing along that you would not normally get playing the original yeah. Zelda. But it's 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 fun. It's fun. It's worth doing. What does the BS stand for? Something satellite. I don't know. Well, we won't That's why I waited for you to finish it. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit Zelda! Um, I think that's all I got to talk about on the SNES, really. So moving on, in 64, uh, we have, well, you obviously, you'll notice some side labeling here. Uh, I was working on that because it's so difficult to organize these things. We couldn't find anything. It was very difficult, even though we have, are very meticulous about keeping them in order. You still, anybody who has ever played it, uh, 64, knows that it's, you can't see it on the side. And with all of our games, we just didn't have the space to display it. I mean, clearly, Nintendo Corporation thought, who would ever throw away boxes and not properly put their games away? Surely children have would... kids. Surely children would do this. I mean, they're not irresponsible or lazy or... Not at all. ...have ADD or anything of the sort. Squirrel. What? What? By the way, someone was playing a trick on... Or maybe it's probably your nephews. Put the games in backwards. They, people like to mess with me and like to turn games backwards and see how long it takes me to notice. So congratulations. I noticed on the video, and if I find you, I have a certain set of skills, and I will use them to hunt you down and kill you. Um, Be afraid. Be afraid. afraid. Um, next up, uh, we've got these the, uh, original Game Boys here, or not original ones. This is the pocket. This is a pocket Game Boy, and the other ones are. Sorry, little too tight skin there. Nah, -uh, it's got a button. I almost zoomed in on your butt. <laughs> uh, the Game Boy Colors, of course, they all have the IR, uh, which is basically like a, a TV signal almost. Um, we have every color but the yellow, and the way you could tell about the original color, well, there's more colors later, but the original release, we only have every color but the yellow. And the way you could easily tell is on the cover, it says color, and every different color of the letter was every color of the release of Game Boys that they brought out for the Game Boy Color. So we've got our nice little red here, we've got a, a purple over here, a, teal, a, a very bright green, a, kind of a teal blue, and I'm just missing a yellow. That's magenta. That's red. I'm a guy. You're this is guy. red. Or you said, pink. You, you said teal. This is teal? You said teal. What's wrong That's with that? It's not a common color. That's not one of the Roy G. Biz. This is my extra Game Boy Color that's see-through. I use this to bash my wife in the head. It's okay, it's censored. Uh, GameCube, I really don't have anything too particular to talk about, except for the Zelda part, which... Hey, look at that, I'm talking about Zelda again. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I've got uh, every Zelda title for it, uh, which was, this is the, the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. Uh, it came with Zelda 1, Zelda 2, the Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask, all on one disc. This one was the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Edition. This one came with the original Ocarina of Time and the Master Quest. They both have pretty unique uh, covers. I mean, they look like special limited edition things. Uh, the other three are just the fairly normal ones that came on the system, which is the Wind Waker. I've got Twilight Princess in there somewhere. Oh, there it is in Four Zelda, Four, Zelda Four Swords. So, see another princess. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sneak and get you because she is going over the Mario Party, which <laughs> has mentioned before. My favorite. 
uh, all of these games, uh, many hours spent with family, friends, but not playing. Um, the new ones that are coming out are uh, really, really excited about uh, 10 that's coming out soon for the Wii U. Cannot wait, but uh, they definitely have improved. If you ever played the car reader, <laughs> uh. <laughs> wanted to bash it with that. Bash it with your hammer. <laughs> There's a reason the card reader wasn't very popular in the States. We're too impatient to try to swipe cards and collect cards and stuff like that. Right, and it was a little, it was, it was definitely difficult. It wasn't family, or it wasn't um, multiplayer. And even on the DS's, you can connect them and play multiplayer. Well, it's it's a card game. Like, you would sit down around to play. And let's say that you're wanting to play, you, you were supposed to play your mini game, you play your mini game, but yeah. Okay, well, I, I got you, but it's definitely not very user friendly. And that's uh, part of the appeal of the Mario's for me is that they are user friendly because as much as I love them, I am not that good at them. Um, but these anybody can, and that's what I think. Some of the Mario parties, the earlier ones, were pretty much nothing but button pushers, and I dominated like the fiend that I am. We don't play those much. No, we don't. Ah. <laughs> uh. See here. Down. Anything other mentionable here? Possibly the Metroid Prime series is also one of some of my favorites. I've got Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime 2, which are in out of order all of a sudden. You can switch those around for me. That'd be great. Uh, apparently, I really got to start paying attention to these shelves. Uh, I've got Skies of Arcadia Legends. That's kind of nice. Um, Woohoo! What is this one? It's an RPG. A little bit pricey, but... And then we start with the Wii. The Wii. Oh, the last story is nice, yeah. It's a very nice box. It's a book. Yeah, it is a book box. Book box. Book box. Say that five times fast. Book box, book box, book box. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> This is, of course, uh, very nice. We rushed out and grabbed it as soon as it came out. It looked mm -hmm. very spiffy, special, but unfortunately, uh, it's dropped in price and everything. Well, actually, fortunately, it's good. That means other people can get it easily, and it's not a big deal. But uh, I don't think we've seen it since. Not complete. It's no. not complete. We'll see this, and especially game stuff that'll be used. But it, I have not seen the book since no. we bought it. You're right. I haven't either. But then again, there's no, not many Wii original Wii titles coming out anymore. Um, and GameStop seems to be trying to get rid of them all. Um, there are, I think, two GameStop titles that are fairly expensive. I have one of them, which is Xenoblade, which isn't down here, so the other shelf, uh, which has gone up in price since it came out. Uh, actually, another one is the 25th anniversary, which we will get to that eventually when we get to that Later. shelf. And the last one is Fire Emblem for the Wii, which we don't own. We'll have to get it eventually because it's starting to rise up in price. Uh, what else you got? Ah! Ah! Some of Savannah's favorite games are ah! party games, if you haven't noticed. Ah! Uh, Nickelodeon has adorable shorts with these bunnies, and they are just as stupid and cute and funny and adorable as they are in the games. Uh, I love that they're outrageous, they're stupid. And they are a lot of fun. If you are in last place, you get to be toilet paper. If you've been in our house when my friends and I have been playing before, you will hear us shouting it out because that's um, funner to say than first place. It's toilet paper. So kind of a win for the lose. Yay! I'm in last place. I can wipe people's bums. Toilet paper. Yep. Um. I've got nothing else here. <laughs> no. Alrighty, uh, moving on to this little last bit. little bit. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and talk about this. This isn't part of our normal Nintendo stuff, and plus we gotta talk about what's up here. Um, this is uh, a special edition Xbox 360 game, Max Payne 3. Got it for about 20 bucks, complete, in box, really good shape. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Found it in Kentucky, visiting your sister. I am in good shape and beautiful, thank you. We found you visiting your sister in Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> what does that say? I was visiting her sister and I found you? Uh, moving on. Oh, moving on. Uh, this is cute. We need to get this out for some parties so we can start putting 
candy or booze or something in it. This I found at a Hastings, which if you have a Hastings near you, it's amazing. It's got a whole bunch of geek stuff in it. And it was, what, 30 bucks, maybe? Right. 20 bucks. And it's, it does not have a back, which is kind of sucks, but it's adorable. <laughs> And this is Injustice, uh, and this is a special edition that comes with a fighting stick for the PS3. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, a little bit of sun damage, but still good, still good. That's the Pokeball Hacky Sack. I choose you! To play Hacky Sack <gasps> with. Yeah. Ah! Opa! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my heart just stopped for a minute. I had to that, catch the that, ball, that, that, that way, I went that, that way. That amazing rear of hers almost would chod my shelf. Oh god. Shaking Wachaw things, they explode! Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Another 50 DKB minus. Other random memes. Uh, this is our Wii U box up here. We've got a Dizzy Sing It Family Hits. Uh, this is a Wreck It Ralph from the Wreck It Ralph movie. This is a cup with a Wreck It Ralph in it, so we had to go get that. That was fun. I'm gonna wreck it! Uh, I really like that movie. Uh huh. A lot. So cute. Uh, we tend to actually, whenever we go to different stores and their boxes are empty, empty. we usually go grab them and they'll, they'll let us take them home and then we'll use it to they hold things our like, yeah, yeah, this is some Kinex little figures I've got up here and some other candy. This is some Ninja Turtle Toxic Ooze and it looks like a PlayStation motion remote, but it's candy. Woohoo! Don't eat it. Yeah, most of the, some of the candy over here is really bad. This is some wall decals. Uh, we got the these, rainbow. We got Roy these, G. Biff. Yes, Roy G. Biff. Uh, has four different sets of wall decals in it. We got it fairly cheap at Toys R Us, I think. Nice. Uh, they were just trying to get rid of it, so no big deal. Uh, the other thing we got up here is Arkanoid in the box with a controller and everything. Uh, box could be in better shape, but can't complain. We got it, so. And this is uh, some Buzz Jr. Robo Jam trivia thing, uh, whatever. It says nine nine ninety nine, but we got that. At, that's a low uh, price. Yeah, that's a low price. We got that from uh, a yard sale. So, and uh, I think that's it. I'm Mary and Mike. Savvy. And we're done with part two of Mary and Mike and Savvy's video game collection. See you next time. Bye. Peace. People like.